So guys, what is up? It's White Sox Talk Live. And no, that title's not clickbait. I do know why Yolmer Sanchez is on waivers. Now, I think, personally, this is the right. But if you don't, say why not and tell me why in the chat. So, let's get into the video. This is, I know why Yolmer Sanchez is on waivers. So, as you guys know, the, as you guys know Yolmer Sanchez recently won his first gold glove award although yalmer is really good in defense he isn't very good on offense though but um so it's really hard because like you, you have a good player on one side and then you have it not very good on the other side and it's just really hard but it's easy for the white Sox because if you guys didn't know, the White Sox have a stacked minor league. And when I say stacked, I mean like the second best in the nation. Padres first, but they, some of their prospects are coming up. But the White Sox have Luis Robert going to be going rookie of the year probably next year. Or Magical will run rookie of the year. But those are two just absolute beasts. And even crazier... Michael Kopech is going to be here next year. Yeah, even though he was in the majors, he didn't play there for that long. So, um, so he, he can't, um, you can technically say he didn't really play yet. But, guys, these off-season videos are doing great. Like that Grand All video, 60 views. That's insane for me. But, um, yeah, Yolmer, I know why. Oh, yeah, guys, tomorrow I'll have a video and it'll say how I am actually friends with Yelmer. That video is going to be so awesome because I actually am friends with Yelmer. Not going to spoil it, but I have it. I'll tell hints about Yelmer and why we're friends. Me and him, I've met him a couple of times. He's a really cool guy, but just really stinks because, like, he's a really good baseball player, and then he's an even funnier player. Like, He's so funny. If you guys haven't seen his signature move, oh, look that up. It's awesome. I got the Keep It Fun shirt on right now. I love that highlight of him dumping the water bucket on his head. It's so awesome. They they actually had one White Sox game where they were handing out free t-shirts of it. And if you guys want to go to a White Sox game... I would recommend choosing a giveaway game because their giveaways at Sox Park are so dope. So dope. They're awesome. If you guys didn't see my video, if the White Sox sent me all this stuff, that's what they sent last year. And that's what they gave away. So y you can see what they give away. It's all super cool stuff. But Yalmer's just like super nice guy. Like he always like interacts with the fans and signs autograph before the game. Like, it's super awesome to see players interacting that that much with fans. It's just really cool that they do that. And he's just really good at baseball, too. Like, he's from the, um, he's from the Dominican Republic, I believe. So, yeah. A, a lot of different countries, like Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, Cuba, are coming out with these really big baseball stars, like Jose Abreu, Yohan Mancata. Luis Robert. It's just, it's really cool to see that, like, players like him are coming from different countries and not starting up the MLB, but making it, like, global. Like, there are players from all around the world playing now. And it's, it's really exciting that he got to play for the White Sox while he did. And I really love that time when he was on them. But it's really sad that he has to leave the White Sox right now. And if you guys didn't see my other Yalmer video, go watch that one. Because that one's even more dope. All my videos are awesome. So watch them all. Watch them. Right now. And I want to ask you guys a question. In the comments right now, can you type why you agree or don't agree with me? That And tell me why you think... Yalmer should or should not be on the waivers. I don't, I think he should be on the waivers and not. And I know why and, and why not. I know why because the White Sox have 
a stud next year coming up, Nick Madrigal. One of the best second basemen probably going to be in baseball hitting-wise. I don't know about his defense, but you guys will love him on offense. Doesn't strike out. Like, barely strikes out. He does anything but strike out, basically. And then, um, I know, I know they would, if Madrigal wasn't coming out, the White Sox would have him, still have him on the team, and, w and he wouldn't be putting waivers, because, um, um, Yomer won a gold glove, and usually if you have really good players on defense, you won't, mo you won't want to, like, put them out there so other teams can snitch them, who have, like, really bad players at that position, or... If they have a good one, but they're not, like, solid defense. Like, he's Jayla Mayhew. He is going up, and he's okay defense, obviously. He's not very good because Yomer led in UZR, defensive run save, and another step. But go watch that Gold Glove video, my reaction to him winning it. But it's just insane that he can do that. So... If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And say why you agree or disagree that you think Yalmer should be on waivers or if, she, if he should not be on waivers. Bye. See you next video. Peace.